Last year, the No Excuse for Women's Abuse fashion show was a huge success. It brought in almost $18,000 for Halton Women's Place when they couldn't host their gala fundraiser. The last two years during the pandemic, women in abusive relationships couldn't get out of their homes. This money is needed more than ever and we hope to do this for many years so they can count on this money every year and the proceeds and this event. This year the show has a downtown Burlington flair as local retailers are showing off their collections. Yeah, we wanted to bring some ready to wear fashion to the group this year. We had people saying, oh, I'd like to be able to buy some of these items after the show. And this gives us that opportunity and we can get boots on the ground downtown shopping and spending money with the nice weather coming. The cause resonated with lead event sponsor Vicki Cooper. Her team has started a clothing drive to help women rejoining the workforce after leaving Halton Women's Place. Where I grew up, the abuse was quite prevalent. Um, so I just thought this was, would be an incredible cause and we decided to kind of create the um, clothing drive as part of the launch to cooperate with the actual gala. So we have a number of bins located throughout Burlington. Our main office in Carlisle, our Brent Street office, our Itabashi office, Jeff and Joelle's clothing store, PV Insurance and the Boxing Ring. Most of these women are leaving their homes in very dire situations with the clothing on their backs. And for them to have the ability to have some new clothing, it would just kind of elevate their confidence level. No different than me going shopping, getting a new outfit, I feel great. That's what we want these women to feel. So that that helps them, give them the confidence to go back out into the world and relaunch themselves. You can drop off your clothes until May 2nd. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley. Yes, love it.